Hello students, this is the third part of quadratic equations for 10th class. Yeah, here exercise 5.3. Find the roots of the following quadratic equation if exist. If exist. If exist means uh, they may be real. Okay. So by using formula or without using formula, you can find all these problems should be I want solve by using formula. Nana. So if a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 then x is nothing but minus b plus r minus root over b square minus 4 a c by 2 a okay one by one i want to solve by using that first here a1 b1 uh, a2 b1 c minus 4 x equal to minus 1 plus r minus root over 1 square 1 minus 4 into a means 2 c means minus 4 by 2 into a means 2 that is equal to minus 1 plus r minus root over this is uh, 4 2s are 8 32 uh, 32 33 plus 33 by 4 okay observe 4 for the 16 16 2s are 32 plus 1 33 okay therefore the roots are Yeah, minus 1 minus root 33 by 4 or minus 1 plus root 33 by 4. Uh, R I am saying now that is end you can say end. Okay, for second problem. Yeah, x equal to minus b means minus 4 root 3. The sum is root over b square 16 3 is 48 minus 4 into a means 4 3 by 2 into 4 yeah 4 4 is 16 16 3 is 48 i think cancel minus 4 root 3 plus r minus 0 by 8 that is equal to minus 4 root 3 by 8 that is equal to minus root 3 by 2. Therefore, the roots are minus root 3 by 2, comma minus root 3 by 2. Should write like that because repeated roots. Okay. Yeah, remaining problems you people can do now. That is not a big problem. Just uh, using formula you can solve. Uh, next find the roots of the quadratic equation in question number one by applying the quadratic formula just what I did that one only find the root of the following equation just cross multiply and simplify you will get the roots here also cross multiplication and simplification only that is not a big problem I want to explain fourth problem now the sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's ages uh, three years ago and five years from now is one by three find the present age okay present age of Rahman let uh, age of Rahman be x years okay so what happened three years ago three years ago for the age of Rahman's age equal to ego no x minus three I can say five years from now five years after I can say Rahman's age age equal to x plus 5 so I will write directly according to the problem but in examination you should write nana that uh, step what is the step the sum of the reciprocals of uh, Rahman's ages in 3 years ago and 5 years to, from now is 1 by 3 you should write according to the problem Uh, 
problem 1 by x minus 3 plus 1 by x plus 5 is equal to 1 by 3. So, LCM x plus 5 plus x minus 3 by x minus 3 into x plus 5 equal to 1 by 3. Okay. Just we need to simplify. What I can say here? 2x plus 2 only that one. Yeah, 2x plus 2. By x square plus 2x minus 15 equal to 1 by 3 or x square plus 2x minus 15 equal to 6x plus 6 or x square minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. Okay, so now we want to solve this. Factors of minus 21 7 3 is at 7 minus 3 4 only x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 21 equal to 0 here I can take x common x minus 7 plus 4 is taken again x minus 7 equal to 0 x minus 7 into x plus 4 equal to 0 x equal to 7 or minus 4 but minus 4 should reject because the age you know a should not be negatives therefore x equal to 7 sinks x should be positive therefore Rahman's present age is 7 years Rahima Rahman Rahman only present age age equal to 7 years so problem number 4 completed Yes, yeah, students, I want to explain problem number 5. In a class, in a class test, the sum of Monica's mark in mathematics and English is 30. If she got two marks more in mathematics, three marks less in English, then the product of her marks would be, would have been 210. Find her marks in two subjects, not uh, at all a difficult problem let marks in mass mathematics b x let marks in english b y okay yeah, in a class test, the sum of the mark, okay, x plus y equal to 30, this happened actually. So, what is given, if she got two marks more in mathematics and three marks less in English, the product of her marks would have been, this not happened, if, 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 I will write, if, uh, she get, Two marks more, uh, two more marks in mass, or uh, two marks more in mass. Mass. Then her mark in mathematics. In mass. Equal to actual x you now no, becomes x plus 2. Similarly, you write dialog what is given here uh, 3 marks less in English something. So, what I can say this y minus 3. According to the problem, since you need to write step none, if she got if she get uh, 3 marks uh, less in uh, uh, English, then her mark in English equal y minus 3. According to the product of their marks would be would have been okay. Second problem x plus 2 into y minus 3 is equal to 210. I want to solve the next page. Yeah, x plus 2 into 
y minus 3 equal to 110. Now you want to solve for x and y. So I want to make total problem in x, I don't want y. Instead of y, what I can write here? 30 minus x, I can write. From 1. So x plus 2 into 27 minus x equal to 210. A 27x minus x square plus 54 minus 2x equal to 210. Or x square, yeah, what is this 25 minus 25x? Yeah, this is 210 minus 54, 6, 0, 5, 150, 156, okay, plus 156 equal to 0. Now you need to factorize. Yeah, 4, 3 is a 12, 12, 19 is a 4 into 3 into 13, 12, 13, the addition is okay. So, directly I can write x minus 12 into x minus 13 equal to 0, cross check none, okay. Therefore, x equal to 12 or 13, x in marks in mass. Okay, yeah, if marks in mass equal to 12, then marks in English, yeah, 30 minus uh, 12, no? 8, uh, 18. If marks in mass equal to 13 then marks in English is 17 okay occasions okay, our uh, next problem uh, sixth problem mm, I want right here the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side. Find the sides of the field. Okay. So, this is a rectangular field. The shorter side, this is longer side. Let shorter side. Side of field be x meters. This is x meters. Longer side. Side of the field becomes what according to the problem 30 meter more than the shorter one. 30 plus x. This is 30 plus x. So this is diagonal. Okay. Next, uh, a diagonal of the field. You could according to the problem, sixty meters more than the shorter one, sixty plus x. This is sixty plus x. Yeah, from the figure. From the right triangle, I can say right triangle you can give the name for the right triangle. That is a big problem. Right triangle uh, ABC AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Hypotenuse square equals sum of squares for the two sides. That is 60 plus x whole square equal to 30 plus x whole square plus x square. Now we want to solve. 3600 plus x square uh, plus 120x is equal to 900 plus x square plus 60x plus x square. One x square cancel. So x square uh, 60x minus 60x Okay, 900, 3600, yeah, minus something we will get, 
थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस एंड थ्री हंड्रेड मीन ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ यू वांट फाइंड द फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड क्रास सेक्शन ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस सिक्स ओके शुड्स नाउ यू वांट फाइंड द फैक्टर्स प्रोडक्ट शुड बी माइंस ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड समेशन शुड बी सिक्सटी सो व्हाट आई कैन राइट ट्वेंटी सेवन इनटू हंड्रेड आई कैन राइट नाइन थ्री जर एंड दिस इज टेन इनटू टेन या दिस इज थर्टी नाइंटी थर्टी माइंस नाइंटी सिक्सटी ओनली नो प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट आई कैन राइट हियर एक्स स्क्वायर माइंस या नाइंटी ए माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो आर इक्वल टेक एक्स का आमन एक्स माइनस नाइंटी प्लस थर्टी टेक एन का आमन एक्स माइनस नाइंटी ओके समेर आई वांट राइट हियर आई वांट राइट ओके फ्रेंड्स सो दिस साइड या एक्स माइनस नाइंटी इनटू एक्स माइ एक्स प्लस थर्टी इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल नाइंट Minus thirty, minus thirty should reject because the length should not be negative. Therefore, x equal to ninety sinks x is positive. There is shorter side, shortest side, a field equal to ninety meters. Sir, ninety meters. What is given? Meters. Okay. Uh, then shall find the side of the sides of the field. Both should find longer side. They are claiming that because what is given uh, the diagonal not the longer side thirty more thirty more ninety plus thirty that is one twenty meters. Okay. At last you need to write conclusions then for every problem. Seventh problem. The difference of squares of two numbers is one hundred and eighty. The square of the smaller number is eight times the larger number. Find the two numbers. Okay. Let the required number be x comma y. With condition x is a greater than y. Smaller is y, bigger is x. Yeah, the difference of square of two numbers is one hundred eighty. X square minus y square. One hundred and eighty. Equation number one. The square of the smaller one, y square, is eight times la uh, larger number. Na? What is that? The square of the sma smaller number is eight times the larger number. Oh, what is this? The square of the smaller number is. Eight times the larger number. Okay. Yes, one. This is uh, result number two from one and two. X square minus eight x minus one hundred and eighty equal to zero. एटीन टेन जार डैरेक्टली साटिस्फाइंग ना सो एक्स स्क्वेर मैनस एटीन एक्स प्लस टेन एक्स मैनस वन एक्व टू जीरो एक्स इज टेकन काम एक्स मैनस एटीन प्लस टेन टेकन काम एक्स मैनस एटीन ईक्व टू जीरो आर एक्स मैनस एटीन इंटू एक्स प्लस टेन ईक्वल टू जीरो फोर एक्स ईक्वल टू एटीन आर मैनस टेन अगेन मैनस टेन शुड बी रिजेक्ट हियर बिका दट इज नंबर So that two, yeah, they should mention. No, they are uh, numbers that should be whole numbers. That's why I want to take x equal to eighteen. So x equal to eighteen. Okay, take x also minus ten. That is not big problem. You can cross check now. No? Or I will write minus ten. So not given. No, positive or negative. Okay, if if x equal to eighteen, then y equal to what is that? Eighteen to eighteen. Eighteen to eighteen. That is equal to eight eight zero sixty four. Eight one zero eight one forty four. Okay. If x is equal to minus ten, 
then y i think this is y square equal to 144 then y equal to i will write wait 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 then y equal to 12 or plus or minus 12 i can say so that ah, okay later i will write conclusion and if x is equal to minus 10 then y square equal to what is that nana 8 into minus 10 that is equal to minus 80 so y doesn't use a real number therefore the required numbers are are yeah, what you got x and 18 comma 12 or 18 comma minus 12 now cross check cross check now take one hour less for the same journey find the speed of the train for example the distance is 360 kilometers speed of the train is taken as x kilometers per hour time taken by train equal to 360 by x so what happened if the speed had been 5 kilometer more had been means if speed will increase yes, 5 kilometer more means new speed is x plus 5 so what is the time nana t2 equal to 360 by x plus 5 according to the pro automatically this should be lesser than this only you know, because more speed that's so what is the t2 should be lesser than t1 only according to the problem one hour lesser than the journey what the meaning of that so t2 t1 minus t2 equal to one hour so from this you can find the value of x that is not a big problem i want to write steps for this problem and first one let speed of train be x kilometer per hour time sorry time taken by train to travel how many 360 kilometers in bracket t1 equal to distance by its speed leave it if next if speed of the train is x plus 5 the time taken by train to travel same distance in bracket t2 equal to 360 by x plus uh, what is 5 obviously t2 is lesser than t1 only ok here only I want write but given t1 minus t2 equal to 1 hour that is what I got t1 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 equal to 1 so 360 I can take common x plus 5 minus x by x times of x plus 5 equal to 1 efficiency so what should i do nana this to cancel so 360 times into 5 equal to x square plus 5x or in other words i can say x square plus 5x minus 0 33 5 3 are 15 18 equal to 0 now we need to factorize this okay, so now you want to find factors uh, of uh, minus 1800 product should be minus 1800 sum should be 5 18 into 100 9 into 2 into 10 into 10 20 and 90 but you want 5 means 9 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 into 2 
फाइव टू जर टेन टेन टू जर फार्टी फार्टी फाइव टू जर टेन टेन टू जर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर फार्टी फार्टी एंड फार्टी फाइव ओके एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फार्टी फाइव एक्स माइनस फार्टी एक्स माइनस एटीन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज टेकन कामन एक्स प्लस फार्टी फाइव माइनस फार्टी टेकन कामन एक्स प्लस फार्टी फाइव इक्वल जीरो एक्स प्लस फार्टी फाइव इंटू एक्स माइनस फार्टी इक्वल टू जीरो वाट कैन से सो एक्स इज ईक्वल टू मैनस फार्टी फाइव आर फार्टी इट कॉन्ट एक्स इक्वल मैनस फार्टी फाइव स्पीड नो देर फोर एक्स ईक्वल टू फार्टी सिंक्स एक्स इज पॉजिटिव देर फोर स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रैन ईक्वल टू फार्टी किलोमीटर फर् अवर लोकेशन अवर नैक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नईन्थ प्रॉब्लम टू वाटर टैप्स टूगेदर कैन फिल ए टैंक इन नाइन थ्री बै एट हवर्स द टैप आफ लारजर डयामीटर टेक् टेन हवर्स लेसर दैन द स्मर वन टू फील द टैंक सपरेटली फाइंड द टाइम इन विच ईच टैप कैन सपरेटली फील द टैंक ओके स्टूडेंट्स लिसन यार फॉर एक्सापल दिस इज द टैंक वी हेव टू टाइप्स ऑफ टैप्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द टैप विथ लारजर डयामीटर दिस इज अनदर टैप ऑफ स्मर डयामीटर ओके Uh, both are opened. Both are opened. Both are opened. So what is the what what is the meaning of that? Two taps together can fill the tank in nine three by four hours. Means seventy two, uh, seventy five by eight hours. Seventy by eight hours. If both are opened at a time, then after seventy by eight hours, the tank is with the full of water. What is the meaning of that? The total time total time taken by both the taps to fill the tank is seventy eight by hours. Means In one hour, in one hour, both the taps can fill the tank eight by seventy-eighth part. One hour, eight by seventy-eighth part, and another one hour, another eight by. Like that, after seventy-eight hours, the tank is full of water. But the meaning of that, in one hour, the net water filled by both the taps is eight by seventy-eighth part of the total, or eight by seventy part of the tank. Okay, this is work done by both the taps in. One hour. So what should find Anna? If only a larger tap is open, we need to find how much time is taken by the tap to fill the tank. Okay. For example, uh, let assume that uh, the time taken by larger tap to fill the tank alone in x hours. So in one hour, how much water it will give Anna? One by x part of the tank only. Okay. So what is given? Uh, yeah, larger tap take ten hours lesser than the. Uh, time taken by smaller one. Automatically, what the time taken by smaller uh, tap to fill the tank? X plus ten, I can say. Larger is taking x hours. Smaller should be taking more than no. That according to the problem, it uh, more than ten hours. So that's why smaller tap can fill the tank alone in x plus ten hours. By using concept, you can find the solution. Listen, questions. Yeah. First of all. Uh, better to draw a rough sketch for this. This is a tank. For oh, two types of taps, this is one of the tap with a larger diameter. So another tap with smaller diameter. Okay, now I want right. Okay. Later. Uh, Time taken by tap of larger diameter be hex hours. Then time taken by tap with the Smaller diameter becomes x plus ten according to the problem. Okay, yeah, net water given by 
tap with larger diameter equal to 1 by x only net water given by tap with a smaller diameter One by x plus ten. Net water given both the taps. Both the taps. Taps in one hour. Equal to one by x plus one by x plus ten. Let it be equation number one. Okay, next, given that both the taps can fill the tank in 75 by 8 hours, that is, net water given by both the taps in one hour equal to 8 by 78 part only no? this is second one and two are same no? one and two are sums here this is the net water given both the taps in one hour this is the net water given both the taps in one hour one equal to two means 8 by 75 equal to 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 10 that's all now we need to solve this equation that is not a big problem ok 8 by 75 equal to what I can say 2x plus 10 by x times of x plus 10 I can cancel one x 4 by 75 equal to x plus uh, what is that 5 by x square plus 10x I think correct on so 4x square plus 40x is equal to 75x plus 75 5 is are 5 is are 25 35 36 375 or another words I can say that 4x square minus 35x minus 375 equal to 0 now you want to find factors 75 into 5 25 into 25 into 3 this one into 5 25 15 uh, satisfying uh, I think what I did wrong so factor with 4 no 4 375 into 4 375 means what uh, just now got now that is uh, 5 into 75 into 4 so this is uh, 20 75 20 minus 75 55 but what you want 5 into 25 into 3 into 4 ok so 5 4 is 20 uh, 20 20 23 is 60 60 minus 25 how much 5 35 correct only so what I can write 4x square minus 60x plus 25x minus 375 equal to 0 here I can take 4x common like 4 ones are 4 15 plus 25 taken common x minus 15 equal to 0 x minus 15 into 4x plus 25 equal to 0 x is equal to 15 or minus 25 by 4 but minus 25 by 4 should be reject because x should be positive x equal to 15 thinks x equal to positive what is x x means the time taken by larger tap to fill the tank I will write therefore time taken by larger uh, tap with larger diameter diameter 
equal to what you got here 15 hours so similar uh, uh, what time taken by tap with smaller diameter equal to 10 15 plus 10 25 hours tenth problem an express train takes one hour lesser than the passenger train to travel 300 and 130 kilometers between Mysore and Bangalore without taking into consideration the time they stop uh, something something no need if the average speed of the express train is 11 kilometers per hour more than that of the passenger train find the average speed of the two trains easy problem only so let uh, average speed speed of express train ex train i can write or should write express should write what is the problem express train b x km per hour Uh, 11 more than the passenger okay so average speed of the passenger train equal to yeah what is speed no speed lesser than uh, 11 uh, x minus 11 speed of the uh, express train is x means automatically pencil should be lesser no? how much lesser 11 Okay, I can say x minus 11 kilometers per hour. Or you can take uh, speed of the passenger train be taken as x. This becomes x plus 11. Anyway, you can solve the problem. That is not a big problem. Okay, this is sorry, this is taken as x. This becomes x plus 11. Km per hour. Km per hour. Okay. Yeah. Uh, time taken by express train train to travel how many distance 130 to travel 132 km in bracket t1 equal distance by its speed x plus 11 so time taken by passenger train p a s s e train to travel same distance 132 km in bracket t2 equal 132 by x according to the problem what is given passenger train obviously take more time no how much time? One hour. One hour. Okay. Means what happened? T two equal to one plus T one. Okay, I will write that. But according to problem, T two equal to one plus T one or t2 minus t1 equal to 1 132 by x minus 132 by x plus 11 equal to 1 or 132 can take common ok x plus 11 minus x by x square plus 11x equal to 1 x, x get cancel x square plus 11x minus 132 two times 2 5 4 1 4 5 2 equal to 0 now you want to find factors of that 132 11 11 ones are 11 12 11 should get 11 what the meaning of this the four threes are 44 33 difference 11 ok x square plus 44 x minus 33 x minus 14 52 equal to 0 here I can take x common x plus 44 
minus 33 I can take common x my x plus 44 equal to 0 so x plus 44 into x minus 33 equal to 0 but this should be reject in bracket things x should be positive that's the speed of passenger train equal to 33 km per hour the speed of express train equal to 11 more than this means 44 km per hour ok this is the answer for the problem students 10th problem completed 11th problem sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meters square if the difference of their perimeter is 24 meters find the sides of the squares ok let uh, side of first square bx by second one sum of the areas ok x square plus y square equal to 468 equation number 1 number 2 should write the nana here what is given should write here uh, the difference of their perimeters 4x minus 4y assume that x is greater than that is my assumption is equal to 24 x minus y equal to 6 second equation so first equation what happens this x square instead of y I can write x minus 6 whole square equal to 468 or x square plus x square plus 36 minus 12 x minus 468 equal to 0 or minus 12 x minus 432 equal to 0 ok next page I will write x square minus 6 x minus 432 no that is 2's are 1's are 6's are equal to 0 now you want to find factors of 216 with summation of minus 216 ok their summation should be minus 6 6's 6, 6, 6 3 2's are 3 2's are yeah, 6 3 3's are 9 9 2's are 18 6 to the 12 ok satisfying x square minus 18 x plus 12 x minus 216 equal to 0 x is taken a common x minus 18 plus 12 taken a common x minus 18 equal to 0 or x minus 18 into x plus 12 equal to 0 x equal to 18 or minus 12 but x should be taken as 18 so di directly connect therefore x equal 18 because x should not be negatives you know? so i will write in bracket things x equal positive what is x means what here uh, side of the first square therefore side of first square equal to 18 meters side of the second square equal to what the relation with x and y this is this one this one x minus y equal to 6 x minus y equal to 6 x minus 6 equal to y 18 minus 6 equal to 12 ok next 12th problem an object is thrown upwards within an initial velocity of 17 meter per second from a building with 12 meters height it is at a height of uh, it is at a height of s that is 12 plus 17 t minus 5 t square from the ground after flight of t seconds find the time taken by the object to reach the ground okay this is uh, not our problem actually this is the ground this is the building so here a throne is uh, a stone is thrown on so this is the path of that 
what is this mean? distance traveled by distance between a uh, distance traveled by the stone and the time is given here actually actually this equation should derive now here giving here given no? initial velocity 17 meter per second and building uh, uh, height is 12 meter something is given by using that actually we need to derive but in this problem uh, directly given the relationship between uh, distance traveled by the particle and uh, time so in our work is what time what t is equal to 0 so uh, uh, at this time t equal to 0 only no so what is the meaning of that what uh, t is equal to 0 find uh, from the ground after t second find the time taken by the object to reach the ground and should s should be 0 what t is equal to that is our work actually uh, initially you need to create this relation also uh, time of the flight should find this should find this should find adding those two will get this relation but uh, you don't want to derive that relation already given no just our work is what values of t is equal to 0 ok I will write what t is equal to 0 that should find we need to find or something I will write we need to find what t is equal to 0 so that is 12 plus 17 t plus sorry minus 5 t square should be 0 such t value on find 5 t square minus 17 t minus 12 equal to 0 minus 12 into 5 4 3 is are 5 20 and 3 17 satisfying so 5 t square minus 20 t plus 3 t minus 12 equal to 0 5 t taken common t minus 4 plus 3 t taken t minus 4 equal to 0 or t minus 4 into 5 t plus 3 equal to 0 okay therefore t equal to 4 or minus 3 by 5 uh, t is taken as 4 only because that is the time you can't take in negatives it should be positive what is should no, what the time taken by the object to touch the ground means I can say 4 seconds you need to write the step then the time taken by the object to touch the ground equal to 4 seconds Question 13th problem last problem if a polygon has n sides has 1 by 2 n into n minus a diagonal if a polygon has n sides so my number of diagonals is this three sides means instead of n you write three four sides means four should write three sides means no diagonals no three minus zero three sided polygon doesn't have any diagonal four sided figure have two diagonals like that so the relationship between diagonals and uh, sides are given here using this formula you need to solve the problem how many sides are there in a polygon if 56 diagonals okay diagonal equal to n into n minus 3 by 2 the diagonals are given as yeah 65 one point sides number of sides of that polygon so n square minus 3 n minus 130 equal to 0 you want to solve this 13 tens are okay satisfying so what i can say n minus 13 into n plus 10 equal to 0 you can cross check now that is not a big problem therefore n equal to 13 or minus 10 but you can't take uh, n equal to minus no? that side num side that should be positive therefore sides of the polygon equal to 30 means a 38 sided polygon will have 65 diagonal that is the meaning uh, is there a polygon with 50 diagonals we need to find out so if there exist a whole number n which satisfies this equation then you can say that exist otherwise it won't exist n into n minus 3 by 2 or n square minus 3n equal to 100 or n square minus 3n minus 100 equal to 0 so try to find factors if possible okay but n should be natural number no? n should be natural number such a way that uh, we want to find okay no uh, exist or not we don't know that's why i want to use perfect square method to find out because uh, discriminant concept is not yet introduced 
Okay, so what is given here? n square minus 3n minus 100 equal to 0. I want classic whether n exists or not. So n square minus 2 into n into 3 by 2 plus 9 by 4 minus 9 by 4 minus 100 equal to 0. n minus 3 by 2 whole square equal to 100 yeah, plus 9 by 4 n minus 3 by 2 whole square should be equal to 400, 409 by 4. So, n minus 3 by 2 equal to root over 409 by 4. Or n should be root over 409 by 4 plus 3 by 2. Or another words I can say that n equal to root over 409 plus 3 by 2. So, this should be whole number and this should be divisible by 2, then only n exists. I think uh, root over 409 is not a rational number, it is irrational number. That is why n will not exist. Such polygon will not exist. Does not exist. That is the reason. I can see that n is does not belong to a countable number, natural number. It gives. That is why. I can say that there is no such polygon.